Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 4 of the Garage Building Mini Series. Uh, finally got the doors and windows in here, and the garage door back there, and the rest of the uh, materials. And kind of the uh, task for this video is I'll be the uh, fascia all the way around. I already went ahead and did that a few minutes ago because it's getting really windy out there. And then next to get the uh, drip edge on and start putting the shingles on the roof here. And then I'll be getting the doors and windows installed, garage door installed. And then putting trim around everything. And I can finally go ahead and put the siding on everything. And hopefully get this place a little more finished. So I'm going to try to try to work hard this week and see what I can get done. So um, it's a nice uh, cool cool day today. I hope it's going to stay, stay like it this week. Um, that heat wave went away. It's nice and nice and rainy every day here. So that's been that's been really nice. And I have a little break from my, my big project. So let's go ahead and get this done before you run out of time. Let's see what we can do. Well, the shingles went up pretty easy. Uh, it took me about, uh, I'd say probably like four hours all together to get the shingles put up there. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty simple process. And this is just a big square, so it's, that's easy. Then I came down and I put on the, uh, the soffit all the way around. I showed that there. And next thing here is to get the, uh, the window in, the door in, and then hopefully go and move on to the uh, garage door. So that should be a fun thing to do. I got my uh, 36 inch uh, steel door here. I'll put that one on and then have my uh, window here And a little little tip if you get these windows from Home Depot these vinyl windows uh, Most windows you need to make them one inch bigger all the way around your rough opening But on these windows you see here it's 24 by 24 It's actually 23 and a half by 23 and a half So you have to make your rough openings there the exact size of your window. So that's 24 by 24, and this window will fit in there with a little uh, quarter inch gap all the way around so I can get some uh, some expanding foam in there and make it real tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, it's pretty simple. Windows in, that was simple. Uh, little side door, that's in. Next thing to do is the uh, garage door. Uh, the uh, box of parts got left out in the rain, so everything's all uh, all kind of kind of mushy. So uh, I'll get that put together. And I've replaced garage doors before in the past, but I've never put one in uh, a new install with all the, uh, the the rails and stuff like that. And I'm sure I probably messed up something on my framing here on my my rough opening. So instead of this being a uh, time lapse of me scratching my head and trying to put this door together, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start on it and scratch my head off camera and then I'll, I'll come back here and there and uh, give you a little updates how it's going and then hopefully I'll show the door when it's all finished up. So I'm going to go ahead with my uh, wet instructions there and get started. Alrighty, so my motto for building this garage here is do everything yourself. So that's why we came to step one, which is the first problem here. There's two people pictured here. You can't have that. 
we got to do it by myself. So let's get started. All right, well, let's go to the pretty quick now. I went ahead and I put the fiberglass insulation in the wall there. Uh, put my sheet of OSB on. And then to uh, make it a little, little uh, skinnier on the opening there, I put my 2x6 flat on the uh, inside there. So it sticks out a little bit, but I'll cover that with the trim. And then on the inside there, I put a little uh, 1x4 to uh, kind of go and have something for the edge of the door there. And everything just held up with uh, little little nails now. Get the uh, top piece on there. And then I'll go ahead and put the rails on. And then that part should be done. And then next what I have to do is put the uh, insulation up there and the ceiling pieces so I can put the uh, top rails on. But it's a pretty simple process and it's going well and I didn't mess up the uh, the rough opening of the door so that's always a good thing. Alright, well, it's been a little time. I was able to get the uh, rails put up there on the side. That was a pretty uh, simple job to do. But then uh, I can't get the top rails up there yet because I didn't have the, uh, the ceiling up there. But to put the ceiling up, I had to go up there and put my uh, electrical wire up there and boxes for lights and then the insulation and this plastic up there because the insulation was falling out of the ceiling. And then I have this uh, thin brown board up there that I'm putting up there that's uh, MDF and that's all, all floppy. So I put a little uh, a 2x4 up there to kind of uh, slide the ends into so that I can hold up one side while I uh, nail it up there. So it's a lot of work just to get those little rails on the top there. So I'll go ahead and keep putting this uh, MDF on the ceiling and hope I can get these rails up there so I can open the garage door here and move my materials from outside inside so they're not getting rained on. We got the uh, soffit done, we got the fascia done all the way around, the drip edge, the shingles are all on. We got the door, window, and garage door finally put up there, and it works nice. And by we, Justin means that he did it all by himself. That's what I'm doing, everything by myself. Door, nice and easy there. So, put that down. Finally got a lot done and got my boxes up here for the lights, got the wiring in. So next thing is to go ahead and get the rest of this insulated, put the ceiling on here and insulate the walls and do that and then move to the outside. But that will be for the next video. So thanks for watching this one, it's a good video and we'll see you for the next one.